My name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for a special edition of Tropic Talks where we are going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about Tropical Storm Debbie. So we just got Tropical Storm Debbie officially. This is currently a tropical storm with sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. It is a low end tropical storm here just off the coast of Cuba but it is going to make its way northward and strengthen as it enters the Florida Big Bend area. So today again we're going to be going way too in depth on this system here so that you can be prepared and not scared. So so right off the bat, we're going to go and talk about the track, right? So the National Hurricane Center right now is saying that this is going to be a Category 1 hurricane landfalling in the Big Bend of Florida area, somewhere in between the Tallahassee and Lake City area, all right? That would be on Monday afternoon, most likely, all right? After that, we're going to be talking about that continuing to head east, northeastward, eventually reentering the Atlantic and potentially making a second landfall in South Carolina. So this is what the satellite looks like right now for Debbie. It's a a little bit unorganized, but remember, it's just a low-end tropical storm, but you can see it start to make more of this kind of cyclical feature here, right? So we are seeing quite a bit of explosive convection here on the east side of the system, which does uh, sometimes indicate that we do have some intensification ongoing right now. Some of those bands are impacting southern Florida with damaging winds and a water spout, so look out for that. Uh, this is the model track guidance right now. So we have most of our members saying that, again, it'll make landfall here somewhere in the northwest part of the Big Bend of Florida here. There is a model that, weirdly enough, puts it in the Big Bend, says that it does, like, this curvy move here and re-enters the Gulf of Mexico. That is not going to happen. I don't know what's going on there, but a lot of our models, again, push this out into the Atlantic after that first landfall. Have it, uh, They have it making a secondary landfall here in South Carolina, and then after that, they just kind of ride the East Coast. Some of them go uh, further out than others right now because some of them say this will be a quicker moving system, but since we can only look 168 hours out, we can't see the full tracks of all these. So, this is the intense the guidance interestingly enough there are only three models that are even pushing this to low end category one strength and none of them say it'll get higher than that a lot of them are actually keeping this at a mid-range tropical storm strength this will likely change over time i don't know why they're being so conservative with the intensity here i think it could definitely uh, have that potential to become even a mid-range cat one but none of the models are saying next up let's go and take a look at what the gfs is saying here for debbie so we can see that it has not making landfall once again in the big bend of florida is a 988 millibar low pressure system that would be probably a mid-range to low-end category one hurricane as it's sweeping through southern georgia re-entering the atlantic and making another landfall in georgia interestingly enough so it kind of has it doing a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop here but it's secondary landfall it has it at a 989 millibar low pressure system and then it kind of takes it back out into the atlantic once more which is an interesting move there and in fact if we look far enough out you can kind of get to see some sneak peeks of that next potential tropical system that we'll be talking about in a couple of weeks but it's a little too early to break down that kind of stuff, right? So let's go and take a look at the Europeans' guidance here. It's a little bit different than what the GFS is saying. So it's saying that this will quickly intensify into a 999 millibar low pressure system as it makes landfall in the Big Bend of Florida, which would really only be like mid-range to even low-end tropical storm strength. It's really not that impressive. And then it has it once again entering the Atlantic, and then it has it strengthening quite a bit before its second landfall here. It's saying it will have a 985 millibar landfall in South Carolina, all right, and it has it riding up the East Coast once again. So, that's what the European la looks like. Last model we're going to take a look at is the Canadian model. So the Canadian is actually being uh, pretty conservative as well with the strength of this system. It's saying that it'll make landfall actually in the panhandle of Florida as a 1,000 millibar low right up the east coast here and cause some heavy rain all the way up. So pretty interesting stuff. But that's going to be it for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. We will be live for the landfall and the effects of Hurricane Debbie. So make sure to turn on notifications and get notified whenever that happens. Remember, don't be scared, be prepared, and stay tuned for our next update. Peace.